today we are running through the Dollar Tree and finding some fun pieces that we can make over into something beautiful without putting in a lot of work or a lot of time. You can grab these thick style mirrors to create some really fun sceneries that you can set out and decorate with. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab a snowman from the Dollar Tree as well as a tree to glue down on here to create like a fun Christmas scene. So I love these Dollar 25 trees. I hope you guys could find them. I know that I found these a couple of weeks ago so let me know if you were able to find these gorgeous trees at your Dollar Tree. I did use a ton of glue because I know sometimes gluing on glass it doesn't want to hold as good so just glued these down now the arms on this snowman were really dramatic and big so I decided to go ahead and remove them but you can keep them I even thought it would be cute if I wanted to go find new little arms like out of the yard some tiny little sticks to put in there but I just left this as is but I felt like it needed some snow so I ended up taking my hot glue gun and just kind of gluing all over the mirror and adding in a bunch of this fake snow And this kind of reminds me of just like how like a little snow globe scenery without the snow globe piece but i love this it looks so cute sitting on a shelf Christmas time is the perfect time to make fake little treats to set out in your kitchen or dining area. I recently discovered that these little cupcake shaped styrofoam pieces from the Dollar Tree fit in all of like the mugs and these little bakeware sets. These are adorable. These little styrofoam pieces fit in there perfect and it makes it look like it actually has a little cake baked in there. And whenever you paint the styrofoam this brown color, it actually has like these little pores and looks like a real baked cake. So this turned out super, super cute. I love using Using the spackling for the icing on cupcakes and hot cocoa so I'll share some more photos of those in just a second but the secret to using spackling on fake cupcakes like this is to build up the middle so you don't just want to ice in these really thick and build it up tall and leave a ton of spackling to have to dry so I put these little styrofoam balls in the middle glue them down in place and then use my spackling to go over the top of these now when you are trying to make this look like real icing you are gonna have to put this in an icing bag Bag. Now I always have Wilton supplies on hand, but Dollar Tree does sell cake decorating supplies. They recently put out a whole line of it, so you can find the bags and the tips that you need for this project but you have to water down this spackling just a little bit. So you want to be able to push it through the icing bag without getting it too runny because you want it to keep its shape. So I did a couple of different designs. For the first one, I just did it like a real cupcake I would icing. And then for the second one, I kind of did just a little different of a pattern going up and down to make it look a little bit more thick and more like a whipped frosting. And then I pick up these mini little ornaments from Walmart. I love those tiny little candy canes and then using glitter and this plastic little shred to look like sprinkles. I used a snowflake as well as some glitter. I love adding glitter on these but after they dry they look like real baked treats. These are so fun to make. Everyone loves them and they're so simple to do. I'm working with one of these really thick plush stockings. Now, I actually found this at Walmart, but you can pick up dollar store stockings. Anything would work. The first thing I wanted to do was really stuff this so it was going to be stiff. This is going to be a door hanger, and I really wanted to dress it up and put some greenery in the top, but the bottom was just kind of laying flat. So stuffing some grocery bags in there just to give it more of a full look, and then just picked whatever floral picks that I had on hand. You definitely can just use something that you had last year or um, just some Dollar Tree picks, but I am filling this full so it's making a gorgeous arrangement, and it's just tucking this down inside. Now you can tack this in with some hot glue. I didn't do that for now because I might want to add some more in there, but I love the layered effect of the berries and the greenery and then making a huge bow with some of this leftover fall ribbon. I was so excited to be able to find some of this red like plaid print um, at Dollar Tree for the fall in the fall season, so I was able to use what I could in fall and then get to save it for the Christmas time. But I made a really easy bow and hung this at the top just with a dab of hot glue and and I actually hung this on a door with one of the Dollar Tree suction cups that actually suctions to the glass, but this looks so beautiful. And I had this put together in like five minutes. 
Next up, an incredible hack to personalize these is actually pick up some of this inexpensive Dollar Tree vinyl, no cutting machine required. I just print out the letters that I want to cut out, put them upside down on this vinyl because it's like mirroring the image on the cutting machine. So you're making sure that the shiny part is what's going to be facing up and then go ahead and just cut these out. Um, the, the center holes are a little bit more tricky, but I just kind of fold them over and do the best I can. And then I have a Cricut Easy Press. I'm going to heat up the stocking. Now I'm going to be super careful because these are felt. I don't want to burn anything, but I'm just going to heat it up a tiny bit, lay down my letter, and then press this for 25 seconds. But always follow the directions of whatever iron or heating tool that you're using, as well as the directions on this specific iron on vinyl that you purchased, whether that be like name brand or the Dollar Tree Crafter Square brand. Now here's a tip. I know a lot of people were commenting um, last time about this iron on vinyl. No, it does not hold up very very well if you wash these but I feel like stockings are something that you can easily wipe off and spot clean but it does attach really good and holds on like I mentioned as long as you're not washing this a ton. This next DIY is perfect if you have tons of extra ribbon or scrap fabric on hand. All you have to do is use another one of these Dollar Tree lighting strands and then cut down some ribbon. I did about four to five inches. It really doesn't matter just however long that you want your ribbon to be. I just mixed up ribbon that I already had on hand. I did not end up using all of this ribbon, but definitely check out Dollar General if you're looking for ribbon. They have it down for just a dollar instead of the dollar 25 like at Dollar Tree. Now, when I first started, I I cut this wide ribbon down in half and you can see that it is just like falling to pieces so um, while I did keep tying it on there I do go ahead and trade that out in a minute and just fold the burlap fabric in half instead of cutting it in half I ended up doing about three ties or three knots in between each light and that seemed to work perfect for me. It made it look really full and this is the part where I am just folding over the burlap instead of cutting it because it made it so much less of a mess. This is so simple and easy to do. Anyone can do this. I did go back in and trim off the edges where it kind of was raveling out a little bit, but I love that pop of red color as well as the white snowflake pattern. It looks so gorgeous. So I just ended up using three different types of ribbons, but I really love how it makes this set of lights pop. Next up, we are making these gorgeous gift boxes that are actually lit up. I love these so much. I actually ended up just using dowel rods for these. Now, Dollar Tree sells dowel rods. I just had a pack from Walmart, so that's what I'm using. And this was like a variety pack, so I did have to pick out like the smallest dowel rods. But I'm just cutting them down to size. I didn't have any exact measurements or anything. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. But um, for the first one, I wanted it to be a little bit bigger, so I just cut off a little piece of these. I felt like the full dowel rod was a little bit too big to set on a table but the point of this really is just to kind of start with your frame so I'm making two squares that are exactly the same and then I'll piece them together with more of these dowel rods I guess the most tricky part of this is getting um, the hot glue not on the table so your dowel rods don't stick to the table. But uh, this looks really thin and like it would just fall apart, but it's actually more sturdy than you would think. Just making sure that I am attaching these really good at each of the corners and just kind of going slow, letting the glue cool down completely before I keep flipping around the frame. And then I picked up some of this mesh ribbon from the Dollar Tree. It is super thin, so I did do several layers of this, but just tacked it down in place on one of the dowel rods and then just keep wrapping this until it's the thickness that I like. Okay. 
And once one roll is completely out, I just go ahead and tack it down and start another one. Now for the big one, I did leave the bottom just completely open because I want to be able to put some LED lights in here. So I leave it open and then for the top, uh, I just kind of added some hot glue and then just put a ton of this fabric over the top. I knew I was going to have to cut around the edges, so I didn't care what it looked like at the beginning. I just kind of putting this back and forth until it's as thick as the sides and then cut away all of the extra ribbon. Next you'll want to get a coordinating ribbon. I kind of wanted to stay with the silver theme, so I'm going to go ahead and just take it piece by piece so it's not overwhelming to work with, um, but just gluing it both directions and then putting a big bow on top. I made more of like a glam version here, but I also think these would be really pretty wrapped in like red mesh with like one of the red and black buffalo check ribbons. And then I, as much as I love this big one, I knew it would be really cute to make a set of them. I know if you purchase like lit up boxes like this at a store, they usually come in a set of two or three. So I went ahead and made a mini little version. I just cut the dowel rods in half and then I was able just to get away with using two pieces per one dowel rod. So that did save me a little bit of work and materials and then just wrapping the same way just with a little mini bow. Now the bottom on this one was wrapped because I wrapped it both directions, but I was able to still put in my LED lights just on one of the sides and attach the bow and put in some of Dollar Tree's lights. But I love these, they look so gorgeous in the daytime, but even better at night. This vinyl looks gorgeous on glass, so I just picked up one of Dollar Tree's frames. This is actually a square frame, it's a 7x7, seven seven, and I just went ahead and removed the backing, and I'm just going to toss that because I'm going to remove the little clips inside and just hot glue the glass back in place. So this is going to be a clear backing. I'm using some of this gorgeous red and black Buffalo Check vinyl. They ha also have this out in the white and black version, but I love this red. It just screams cabin cozy Christmas to me. So um, I'm just freehand here so bear with me but I did go ahead and sketch out a little shape of a house um, I didn't get it perfect so I played around with the angle cut that out and then after I attach this to the glass I'm going to be adding in some faux snow just by adding in some white paint and glitter and this looks absolutely gorgeous I did want to make a little chimney so after I did get this attached to the glass I just went ahead and cut out a little rectangle with the angled um, bottom attach that to the top and don't worry about the seam I go ahead and blend everything in but it is is so much fun adding that snow right on top. I started off small but then got a little bit more brave and added a ton of fluffy snow but this looks so gorgeous without having to worry about a lot of tiny details. Now I wasn't sure at first if I was going to add in a door or any windows, but I thought a really easy option is just to grab one of these Dollar Tree foam stickers, stick that right in the top just for a little decor piece instead of using like a heart, which I put on like every house, and then just tack the glass in place with some hot glue, let that completely cool down, and this is the most gorgeous little free standing house. And then head on into the kitchen or dining section at Dollar Tree, grab some blank pot holders. I got red ones and I wanted to add a Santa's belt. So believe it or not, Dollar Tree is actually putting out now iron on vinyl. This is incredible. The gold is already old iron on vinyl that I already had, but they do have the iron on vinyl out at Dollar Tree in like every color now. I am so excited about it. But this is great to just add little accents to pieces like this. And I know you can actually iron on other uh, materials, even like wood. 
but I started by using this little piece of wood just as a guide to get the perfect little strip for the Santa belt and then I just cut out a uh, golden little square to be the belt buckle. Now um, the first time I, I wasn't really sure how I was going to get the middle cut out so I did cut through the edging and it was all right you can see a little bit of a seam but on the second one I go ahead and just fold it over and cut out the middle like I'm supposed to and I got the perfect square but this looks so good. The black does have like that plastic coating or cover on it so you do have to attach the black piece first just a little bit and then pull up the clear plastic and then attach the belt buckle. Um, definitely follow the instructions on the iron-on pieces that you're getting but I love simple projects like this. You're not having to get out a cutting machine. I do have the Cricut Easy Press um, but if you just have a regular clothing iron that is completely fine. Um, just read the temperatures on the packaging of whatever fabric or material that you pick up but I do like to heat up the little um, oven mitt first and then attach it. It just seems to adhere better but like I mentioned you can see that little bit of a seam on the belt buckle but I completely get rid of that on the second one. These would make incredible, easy, simple gift ideas. You could pair this with a baking mix or any type of baking supplies, but absolutely love it. I love all of these new metal signs. These are so cute. They have different words in them. I found this galvanized home one and I'm going to be spray painting it red to look more like Christmas decor, but I wanted a sign to put it on. So I just picked out any wooden sign that I, sign that I already had. I'm using some of this large buffalo check print in this soft gray and white, which also came from Hobby Lobby and cutting it down to size. I'm going to use some spray glue adhesive to attach it to the sign and then I'm going to put the home right on top. Now you could stop here if you wanted more of a minimal look, but uh, I love details and, and keep adding stuff to all of my pieces. So I did cut off some tiny little greenery pieces off of a branch that I had left over from last year. All I could find was one little red berry, so that poor little lonesome berry, but I glued that on there. And then I added a little bow at the top to cover up the hole. But this looks so gorgeous, especially in like a tray decorated with more Christmas decor. I'm getting so excited to create some more Christmas stuff. First up, I found these little decorative pieces that holds cards at the top and I just got so excited. I knew I could turn this into like a Christmas card holder. This would be really cute to display even like your family pictures or make this like personalized for someone. This would be a really great gift idea. But I picked up three of these. I actually went with the family, the gray style because I want to connect all of these together and leave one of the family words in the middle. So these hold cards so cute and grouped in a pair of three. This is gonna be a long like shelf setter. You could set this in a windowsill, but it's not gonna take up a lot of space. So it's gonna be perfect to set around and display anything that you would like. But I glued these together for video purposes. I used hot glue, but if you're gonna gift this or use it for a long time definitely use some type of wood glue or something a little bit stronger you might could even attach like some screws in the back um, and, and piece these together but I decided to go ahead and use some still colored chalk paint to paint each of the sides but once again just leaving that family um, word in the middle I think it looks really cute so I thought I was going to glue down these snowflakes, the silver ones, but I didn't have enough. So then I peeled them off and went with all of the white ones. But these hold cards, so super cute. I will love to display this on an entryway table and just kind of put out my favorite family photos. These large snowflake ornaments just caught my eye. I knew they would be fragile, like I putting them on the tree, I feel like they would break easily or if they fell off, my kids would bother them. But if you actually pick up a couple of these candle holders from the Dollar Tree, and I just kind of moved the top until it got really loose and came off, and then took these outside, spray painted them with some gold spray paint, and then attaching these snowflakes on there, and this is actually going to keep them safe and display them gorgeous on a table or a shelf versus putting them on the tree but these have such beautiful detail they actually look like frosty 
glittery snowflakes. I love them so much. I just hot glued them on these stands. It's hard to tell in the video, but one of them was a little bit smaller than the other one. So definitely keep that in mind when you're looking for these. You can get two different sizes or keep them the same size, but just glued them as high as I could on this stand while still keeping that ugly little top piece behind the middle circle so you won't be able to see it. But I love these. These are so high-end looking and gorgeous and a perfect way to display these ornaments. First up, I wanted to create some really cute candy dishes and I'm going to pair this with some of the little fishbowl candle holders and I did take the lids off of a couple of these candy containers. They just fit perfect. Now they're not going to be airtight and like fit, have an airtight seal, but they do set really cute on top and for like individually wrapped candies, this still works perfect. So I am using three of the candlestick holders. I did stack a couple of them on top of each other with the top one being upside down to give the second one a little bit of height. So since this is for Christmas, I am going to paint these red and I love using chalk paint whenever I am painting glass. I just feel like it adheres really nicely to the glass and after you let it cure like overnight, it's like more difficult to scratch off. And I go ahead and paint the top um, little lids red, but I do leave the clear like little fishbowl candle holder, um, just leave it clear. And then um, I'm gluing these to the top and these are gonna be so adorable. I do love the red kind of reminds me of like a gumball machine but these look so fun with all the little candy inside it gets my kids so excited and just a fun way to display some fun treats especially for the upcoming holidays. Mm -hmm. 